Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, today we have something called Will It Fit? Yes. Um, <laughs> Will It Fit? Uh, so today, I, not today, but I recently purchased this lovely, look at that retro packaging here, this vintage doll outfit um and it says you can see here it says pedal for 11 and a half fashion dolls and this is made in hong kong and for ages three and up so this kind of gives us some clues um as to when this was made i'm guessing about uh a late 60s early 70s about you know kind of that age I'm not really sure I tried to do a a brief uh, look up to see if I could find out about this company um, didn't find a lot so <laughs> I'm guessing uh, just from the packaging, it might have been like, say, from a dollar store, you know, a five and dime kind of thing. Uh, it doesn't have any, uh, what's it called? Price on it. It doesn't have a price. It doesn't have a barcode. So, um, definitely before barcodes. Uh, it's also made in Hong Kong, which uh, a lot of things from... The 60s and 70s were made in Hong Kong um, so that gives you a pretty good indication of where it's from so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna round up my 11 and a half or similar dolls uh, fashion dolls and we're going to see who wear it best or who actually fits in it because I'm like looking at these shoes these shoes are tiny like I'm thinking they can maybe fit Barbie, but some of the other girls I have have bigger feet. I'm going to try to, I'm picking dolls mostly that would be kind of between that time. Um, I do have a couple of modern, like one or two modern dolls that I'll be fitting this on. Um, we're going to, I'll introduce you to the girls and then we will play dress up. Because that's what I like to do is dress up. Okay. So here are our, our contestants. So we got uh, Tammy and Cindy. We got Reproduction Francie. A Reproduction Barbie, who was Barbie Doctor. This is an Unida Dollykin. And then on the new modern people we have a nuke and a fashionista and her faces this fashionista face has been um repainted but here we go you can see that they're all similar sizes they're all about 11 and a half inch give or take uh a nuke and cindy are a little shorter but I think they're all about the same body proportions. So let's open up our packaging and get them all redressed. Okay, hopefully that's not too wobbly. So here we got our doll thing. So we're gonna open this up. And it looks like it might've been taped at some point. It's okay. Little purse. I think we could actually probably get this out without taking everything out. Oh, yep, there we go. Here's what it looks like behind it. Pretty cool. 
She's got some bell bottom jeans. It's a very nice picture. So we'll just set that aside. And here we got her dress. It looks like there is some staining from the tape, but I'm pretty sure that will wash out. This is like um like a knit. Oops. They use like clear thread. So we can just trim those. Um little snap. Oh, it's a metal snap. Ooh, are we gonna open? Things we're gonna ask ourselves. There we go. See, there's a little bit of corrosion on that, but it's not terrible. And then there's a little shawl. And again, it was sewn with like clear thread. There's some staining from the tape, but overall not too terrible. Like sometimes like these ones, they get really gross and a little purse. It's cute. And some tiny red shoes. Let me see if Okay, so here we go. Let's do this. First up, we got our Barbie. Let's try the shoes first. Kind of fit. Houston, we got a problem. Your boobs are too big. Well, do this. Next, we got Francie. Maybe she'll fare a bit better. Oop. Got contact. Oops, left her underwear on. That's okay. <laughs> Let's see if her shoes fit. Not terrible. So next we have our dollykin. You can see she's jointed. She's kind of a funny doll, really. Anyway, so let's see if this fits. And again, your boobs are too big. And then shoes. Nope. It's like Cinderella sis. Okay. And now we have a modern fashionista as doll. And I'm pretty sure her bust is going to fit in this because her bust is about the same size as Francie. Let's see our shoes. Not bad. All right, so now we got Tammy. And nope. 
no dice. And I'm not even going to try. Her feet are a lot larger. So I think this must have really, it, it just must be for some of one of the dolls that has a very tiny rib cage because it's like, there's like a good, what, half an inch there? Crazy. Okay, so then we have Cindy. And again, almost. Oh, maybe I can get it. Nope, nope, nope. I just don't want to break it. <sighs> and again, Cindy's feet are quite a bit bigger. And finally, we have Anouk. And like a majority of the dolls that I've tried this on, it does a button. Let's see if these shoes fit. Yes. Which is good because I need more shoes for her. There we go. Alright, so overall closing thoughts. Didn't fit. A lot of my dolls very well. Um, I think there's only two that it really fit. The shoes fit some of them, which is good because, you know, sh cute little shoes are always great. Uh, the purse uh, was able to be held by most of them. Uh, this wrapped around okay. But I think the most frustrating part was uh, the snap because this fabric does have some give to it, uh, but the top piece really doesn't. Um, so that was a little frustrating that it didn't fit a lot of the dolls up in the chest. Um, so my thoughts are either it's supposed to be for a very specific 11 inch fashion doll or it just isn't greatly made, you know, but such is life. And I hope you enjoy that. Uh, who wore it best? Uh, you tell me in the comments below who you thought wore it best, even if it didn't fit. Or, you know, whatever. Who looks great in it. Uh, and yes, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. 